one of the, the, the main themes of the conference here today is is around climate adaptation and we talk when we talk about climate we tend to talk about reducing emissions mitigating our emissions and particularly i suppose in the agriculture sector we've talked a lot about it but of course the agriculture sector not only produces emissions but also and you know impacts on our climate but is very in, impacted by climate and we're seeing that in particular this year so much of the discussion is about how the poor weather and the weather changes and the starting of the growing season has changed which is impacting farmers so what we're seeing over the last number of years is the, the changes um, have impacted farmers on the ground uh, at an individual level well, I think when you talk about an average farmer, I think uh, one of the things we see is there's probably no no average farmer and that it depends on where in the country you are, uh, the types of farms you have. And, and I would keep coming back to actions that have been identified, whether it's through the Chagas Mac curve, whether it's through climate uh, uh, the uh, climate uh, plans within the Department of Agriculture. And it is around, you know, how do you, uh, how do you diversify, uh, not rely solely on one particular aspect. So things like the, the, the forestry programs that are now in place, they're an opportunity in the context of, of, of a, adapting. Things like uh, using some of the incentives that are now there around organics, for example, and really looking at the overall farming model. Now some of that can be done at an individual farmer level but it is much more as a sector overall trying to come up with what's the, the future vision of agriculture that's both sustainable and can adapt to this changing climate because we're seeing some of it now but there's more to come. The biggest risk we're seeing at the moment in the context of mitigation is there is a commitment uh, from the agriculture sector to reduce emissions by 25% by 2030. I suppose the risk, significant risk, is not achieving that. So uh, really looking at what are the measures in order to reduce emissions. I'd also say we, we did have a discussion about win-wins today as part of the conference. And, and one of the things that we'd be looking at is not only win-wins, but where are there multiple impacts? So you look at the east and the southeast of Ireland, where it's quite an intensive dairy sector. Uh, we're seeing not only do you have the greenhouse gas emissions from, from cattle there, but you're seeing impacts on water quality. So if you address those that, you can have a win-win of both water quality and greenhouse gas emissions as part of that overall diversification, because diversification will support adaptation anyway, because you're less reliant on one particular aspect of uh, an agriculture sector.